It's been a tough couple of years for healthcare workers, with some hospitals implementing the same kind of counseling used for soldiers with PTSD. In this week's Good Neighbors, Bob Hoffman introduces us to some amazing young people who are giving back to frontline heroes in our community. Hi, Bob Hoffman. Thousands of people give to Lansing's Sparrow Hospital on an annual basis. And this week's Good Neighbors are some of those donors. And they're proving that you don't need years of wisdom and deep pockets to do great things for our community. It makes me feel really good because I know that people are having a Like a hard time. Yeah, a hard time, and it'll just make them happy. Eight-year-old East Lansing resident Wynn Slater raised over $100 selling hot cocoa for Sparrow Hospital healthcare workers. Wynn is one of the many young donors making a difference for the hospital, especially at a time when our healthcare workers deserve it the most. Dancers with Lansing Fusion Dance Center made thank you cards for the healthcare workers who are part of Sparrow Hospital's pediatric unit. It's a good feeling. They really truly deserve it and I look up to them truly. They're incredibly strong people. And Riley Dooley, Miss Michigan's outstanding teen, created care packages and donated them to the kids at Sparrow's Cardiovascular Pediatric Unit. At the age of 13, I was diagnosed with leaky valves and mitral insufficiency, which is the most common form of valvular heart disease. And in simple terms, it just means that my heart can't pump blood out to my body in the way that it should. Riley says she knows how lonely it can be for kids in the hospital. So I reached out to Sparrow Hospital and I was able to create care packages to donate to their uh, cardiovascular pediatric unit just to let the kids know that someone's thinking of them and that they're not alone because I know that that would have really helped me in my journey. These kids are great neighbors because they give back to their community. Most of them at one time or another have been a part of our Sparrow family and been a patient here in one of our units or received pediatric services. And so they're just coming back to give back to those that have taken care of them. Kathy says many of the young donors make it an annual tradition to give. Wynn says that's her plan. In the summer, I'm going to do um, a snow cone stand because I have a snow uh, snow cone dealer. And I'm going to raise, and my goal is to raise over a hundred dollars again. We want to say thank you to everyone who donates to help out our healthcare workers, especially the young people who are learning early the great feeling that comes from making a difference in our communities. You're this week's Good Neighbors. I double your money. I'm all in. Came to win, Jay. You bet your life.